Okay, look at this right here. This is amazing. So that prompt alone is going to be so valuable. If you're not leveraging the power of AI to boost your content, then you're missing out on a very valuable opportunity. But the main question is, how do I actually use and leverage AI to actually boost my content? Prompt generators. These are prompts that will generate prompts. And that's exactly what I'm giving you today in this video. Amazing prompt generators that you could use to 10x any form of content. So every prompt I share today, I'll include and give you complete access via the links in the description. In addition to this new prompt generators database. Check the links in the description for the most amazing prompts. These prompts can be utilized for any form of content, not just YouTube like I'm sharing right now, but anything. Again, this is going to be a 10x content producer. And once I get to it, all I have to do is simply expand it by opening up the whole row. And then here's the prompt right here. Okay. It's going to be a chat GPT 10x title improver. All you have to do is copy this prompt in provide ChatGPT with just two simple, not too good generic titles. And then instantly it's going to revamp, revise and make these 10 times better. And remember, make sure you stick around because I'm not just sharing one or two, I'm sharing a few of these prompt generators. You're definitely going to want to try and use over and over again. So now that I have my prompt copied, now simple, come over here into ChatGPT. For the first one, let's come in here and simply paste this whole entire prompt in. Now it's important to keep in mind, you always want to pay special attention to what the actual prompt says. That's because in this specific prompt right here, I first need to add two titles, generic titles in the prompt. For other prompts, you can just paste it in, hit enter, and then ChatGPT will then ask you what your subject is. However, this one's a little bit different. First one, use this prompt to boost your content. And then just like that, it goes right to work. It first provides you with both of your chosen prompts. From there, it's gonna first tell you which prompt it thinks is actually a little bit better. But not only that, that because actually they're not going to be that good from there it's going to then generate five other prompts that are going to do way better and that's exactly what it did so here's the first one title two these prompts will improve social media content is likely to generate more clicks okay so it has to give you a default answer but then right here here are five alternative titles that could perform even better after chat gpt gives you those five other improved alternatives you can then take these other alternatives you could take two more of these and then re-enter this prompt but with these two better titles and make your titles even better you can repeat the process over and over again until you get one that you really like okay now let's go ahead and then move on to number two now again the purpose of this prompt is a youtube title expert again it could be used for anything besides youtube instagram tiktok etc Okay, so now here we are in Claude. Again, let's come in here and then paste this whole entire prompt in. Now again, remember at the very bottom, let's look at the prompt. It says, here is my current YouTube title. But check this out. Let's go back over to ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and copy this first one right here. Five must-try prompts to skyrocket your social media content. Okay, we have that one. And then actually, let's actually go with number five. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy this one from ChatGPT that we just got with our first prompt. Come back over here into Claude and now paste this in right here and then hit enter okay just like that it's gonna think and then watch this magic just like that we get 10 amazing ones but look at this it then gives us reasonings behind why these are gonna be good okay so now we have 10 more that seem to be improved versions that leverage proven YouTube title strategies and then there we go just look at the creativity of these prompts okay, okay. so for this next prompt I really like this one a lot your specialty and masterful expertise is coming up with and creating amazing YouTube titles and videos that are extremely eye-catching. What I like about this is that down here in this very last paragraph, it says, if I'm creating a video for a new update, you will then provide title ideas related to and relevant to that specific title type I'm seeking. Let's go ahead and paste this whole entire prompt and then you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'll come back in chat GPT. I have a new chat opened up. Let's first paste this whole entire prompt. The purpose of this prompt is, what if you don't have a title in mind? I mean, it could be difficult enough just trying to come up with a generic title, and that's exactly what this prompt is for. So you take any sort of subject or content type. Let's say in this case, we're creating a piece of content about a new update of XYZ, a product, an app, etc. We don't really have any sort of prompt off the top of our head that we're considering. That's where this prompt comes in. You just give it the genre of content, in this case, new update. That's all we know that's all we're going to tell chat GPT just from that watch what this thing can do this is exactly what I said now again at the very bottom here is my titles type 
new update in quotation marks. Let's say it was a different topic, like a new product. You would replace new update with a new product, whatever this genre is about. Now go ahead and now select enter and then watch this. YouTube title ideas for quote new update videos. Again, it could be used for Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. But then look at this right here. Not only is it going to give us multiple bulleted points or numeric bulleted points, but it's going to give us all these other examples as well. For an example, look at number one, shock in all titles. Examples, you won't believe what's changed in the new update or this update changes everything, must see. As I continue to scroll down, again, I'm gonna get more characteristics. Ultimate guide titles, then three examples right here. Pros and con titles, impact and implications. Keep scrolling and we're gonna get these sort of specific type of titles or headers we can use completely relevant to the genre. If I would replace the new update with a product launch or trade show announcement, anything, it's gonna completely craft and generate many, many prompts relevant to your genre. So that prompt alone is gonna be so valuable if you really have writer's block and you don't even know where to begin. Okay, now moving on, this is another long prompt, but a very good one. Up here, it's gonna combine not only titles, but also thumbnail designs. Again, we're using YouTube today as an example but this would be perfect for generating any sort of content that you're going to have images with. Okay, we're going to come back and chat GPT. You don't always have to start afresh with a new chat, but I always like to just in case. Here is this full prompt right here. And now again, always pay attention to the last sentence. Okay, you are universally known as the number one YouTube thumbnail designer and creator in the world. Here is my current YouTube title. Again, just give it a title. It doesn't have to be that good. This time, when you do provide the title, it's also gonna provide you with some good creative style ideas to generate, in this case, thumbnails. Okay, so what I did is I just went ahead and gave it a very generic, simple one, pretty good. Use these prompts to 10X your social media content. And now let's go ahead and hit generate. Let's see what this can come up with. So now ChatGPT, it gets to work. And then the first thing I like, it starts with the visual focus. It's gonna give you precise details on what you could do to create eye catching thumbnails or visuals and that's what it's doing right here so again we're starting with number one from visual focus text elements okay and what i like about this is not only does it give us the image features and design and even the background overlay elements it's going to give us the text elements okay primary text use large bold text in the thumbnail with phrases like 10x your content or just 10x content positioned at the top or bottom that's amazing because it's going to give you precise details every step of the way for not only the title or header but also for the visual images okay so now this next one we're getting better and better but what this, this next one is, is just quite magical. impressive it's longer but what this can do is just quite magical and let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing we'll go back to chat gpt and then that way i'll explain exactly how to use this specific prompt and now let's paste this prompt in here it is it's pretty long again let's see at the very bottom now notice this last sentence we don't have to do anything in this actual prompt because it says do you understand so we'll hit generate without having to give it any details quite yet but first look at what this prompt can do okay you are an exceptional thumbnail creator you know the exact words and phrases that appear on YouTube thumbnails that will increase engagement, okay? So here's the thing. Look at this right here. If I had a previous thumbnail that contained the words, it's like a cheat code, you will then study those words and provide me with 10 other words to include on my thumbnails that are similar to the one I provided to you. So that's why I'm using this specific example. A few videos ago, I created a video featuring Canva on how you can actually turn Canva into a prompt generating machine by using their new release magic doc so that's this video right here the video got some pretty good views for me at least at that time and so let's say i want to continue on this trend with this same sort of tile what could i do to duplicate successful sort of videos like this okay so that's what this does then chat gpt proceeds with a few more instructions on what you should do i understand completely okay please provide me with the words from your current thumbnail and i'll generate 10 different variations 
that are similar yet distinct, keeping the effectiveness and engagement factor. And what we're specifically talking about is we're not talking about the previous title we used in this video. We're actually talking about the text that actually appears in the thumbnail itself. And that's what we're going to do. So since that thumbnail did a good job, let's go ahead and now type this same exact thing. Okay. It's like a cheat code and let's go ahead and now select enter. It's phenomenal how good of a job this can do. And now just like that, look at this. It gives me 10 pretty amazing anywhere from unlock the secret feels like hacking the system. It's like a shortcut to success. Crack the code. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's go ahead and wrap this up with something completely unique. Okay. A shorter prompt. However, this is going to be something that you might not think is important, but it actually is. Are you familiar with the term alliteration? And sometimes when you use alliteration in the form of a title or a piece of content, it actually has a pretty good effect. And that's exactly what this prompt does right here. Now, here, is the prompt. Let's go ahead and copy it in. We're back over here in chat GPT. Okay. Let's paste it. And it's very simple. Help me create some word alliteration. I'll provide you with a YouTube title and you will provide me with even better ideas using alliteration. My current title is, or basically the theme of your title, ultimate update. Okay. And there is that alliteration at work, two words side by side, both starting with the letter U. Okay. Let's see what this can come up with. Okay. Look at this right here. This is amazing. Which response do you prefer? Now I just entered this prompt in and then just like that, it just automatically gave me these options. Here are some alliterative alternatives to ultimate update. And it does just that supreme secrets, powerful preview, massive makeover, critical change, perfect pitch. You could just look at these alliterations and to be quite honest, I would have never have thought to come up with this on my own. So there you have it, a handful of prompts, but not only prompts, actual prompt generators that you could use to really level up and 10X any form of content. So again, check the links in the description. Every prompt I share today will be accessible completely for free via the link in my description. In addition to, if you want this new ultimate prompts generating database, you can also get that as well via the links in the description. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.